What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome, welcome. Doing some Threes Arenas Resto Druid. I'm running with a Red Pally and her Survival Hunter. They got pretty good damage. Um, we're going against Monk, Demon Hunter Warrior on this one. The Demon Hunter on their team gets rooted, basically, by the Survival Hunter. So my goal is to CC him up as long as I can. Uh, I did my clone a little too early there. That's my fault. But I'm going to go back, try to clone him again. I get bashed. I use Bar Skin. Don't know why I used it there, but I did. So it is what it is. Um, healing up as much as I can, when I can. Um, used overgrowth on them. By this time, the monk's already dead. I'm just now noticing that. Um, basically, CC the demon hunter as much as I could on the start. They went warrior, or they went hunter, didn't get it. So now I just need to survive. Demon hunter's bursting because he really didn't do much of anything. I wore stomp here to get a little stun, and I throw my little pool of shit down underneath me. So the warrior's taking crazy uh, corrupt damage right now, and he's just going down. Demon hunter flies in. I don't think the demon hunter's running much corruption gear because it doesn't seem to affect him that much being in the pool. But he just leaves. Um, heal wise, I did 1.4 million. These are 1600 CR games, so just fun. But what I get, what I like is the Demon Hunter's top damage, and he was CC'd the first, I don't know, 10 seconds of the match. So that's always exciting. That was a good fast match. Um, running the same, not the same team here, running Demon Hunter Warrior here. Um, going against Demon Hunter Rogue Holy Pally. Um, they're going Warrior, which you should go Warrior. Um, he's not very tanky compared to Demon Hunter and me. But I, try, I stayed stealth as long as I could because the rogue still hasn't come out. Rogue comes out. I know it's coming. Um, I overgrowth myself. I bar skin myself. He tries to use smoke bomb. I'm not in it. But yeah, they're doing some pretty crazy damage here. They use PvP trinket on me. I throw my pull down and war stomp. I'm not staying there. Um, I gotta run. There's no way I can just sit there against a demon hunter and a rogue. There is war banner there from my warrior, so that helped actually a lot. I go back in the pool because the rogue's kind of... I see the rogue's corrupt. You can just tell by looking at him, he's running high corruption. So I go back in the pool, the rogue starts running. Um, Health-wise, we're doing fine. It seems like they're all three running the PvP, um, uh, the one that takes away healing, the PvP trinket, because um, they both hit it with me. But I'm going down just by the Demon Hunter, and at this time I look up and the rogue's dead. So didn't do much CC, didn't do much of anything. Um, DPS basically did all that. I just had to survive a rogue and a demon hunter on the opener. And I did. So easy match. This one's probably going to be in the 1600 ratings, maybe 1700. I don't know yet, but they're, so their healer was running the pool of shit. The other two were running the PVP trinket, which is fine. Um, I don't have high corruption, so there's no issues. Did 2.2 million, uh, did 250 K damage somehow. Yeah, these are 1600 CR games. Top healer, and then my warrior was top damage, so I like that. Going into the next and last match of this, it's going to be a short video, only 7 minutes. Running with the same warrior, demon hunter, me. Going against a survival hunter, rogue, monk healer. Um, yeah, so... It's kind of difficult, because I know survival's got good damage, and I know um, rogue has, has good CC and damage. Um, there's trinket, or... There's uh, stun on me, so I, I actually quickly trinket it because I don't want to get um, trapped because that's normally the go-to for survival hunters is uh, stun into trap. So Rogue's going me. Survival hunter is trying to live. He's pulling back a little bit. So I just line aside him. I'm not too worried. I just get the get the hots on myself, dispel myself, and come back out to heal. Um, I know I need to CC that monk. The monk's gonna do crazy damage or crazy healing, and at the same time, his mana is good. Like he's very controlled healer. He's not just wasting mana. It'll use mana. Um, I'm trying to make their DPS get in a bad situation, so I kind of run him behind this pillar, makes the monk come up. I clone the hunter because I don't want a him to be healed or be damaged right now because I just wanted to make sure. I go for another clone. I get nature locked. Perfectly fine. But they're doing good stuns on the healer, and I did the hunter, so we're all kind of topped off. I get nature locked here, which is fine. Get stunned. Kind of long stun. But again, rogue sitting me and survival hunter's going another person. So not too upset by that. I overgrowth the warrior. I'm going to rehot myself. I should dispel myself, but I'm just rehotting myself. I bash the rogue, and I'm going to go into clone just to kind of peel him off of me. So he's cloned up in the back, not too worried about him. 
here comes the root. I think the trap's coming, but it's not. So I don't know if I missed it or if the warrior came through with whirlwind. Don't know, but thankfully I was not trapped. Um, bar skin myself, innervate myself because I look at the monk's mana and it's going down. So if it does become a oom battle, I want to make sure I'm winning. So while I'm innervating, I throw out a couple dots. I throw out vortex here and my pool of shit. So hopefully the rogue stays in it. He gets out of it slightly and stunned, which is fine. Um, I throw that pool almost like a, a thorns. I I use it as a defensive and an offensive, um, which you can use thorns. If they're blowing up one person, you can use it as an offensive. If you just want them to stop the DPS and they're both melee, then you can throw thorns out to stop them. So I get a stun here on the monk and I get a full clone, which I'm super excited about. The hunter has to turtle. So he turtles. And at this time, the rogue's still going down pretty good. I use my Azerite traits. I put Effervescence on the ground as another heal. My damage is going pretty hard, so I'm not too worried about that. We're all full health. Um, the hunter is under 50%. The rogue's almost dead, and the monk's 50% too. So damage-wise, we're doing good. Um, I try to throw a clone on the healer. He kind of lines beside me, and they kind of switch to him, which I'm perfectly okay with. Um, I should clone the rogue here or maybe the hunter um, just to stop some of the healing. But the healer actually had appeal to heal himself. When he did that, it left the rogue out here by himself. Cocoon should be up shortly, so he should cocoon, cocoon one of them. Cocoon. Um, but yeah, so it's basically it's basically a good match. I'm not too worried about their burst because they seem to be on opposite targets, which they're looking for group, kind of like we are. But at least we plan to go on the same target. Um, the rogue does come out on me, gets a good stun. I overgrowth myself, don't see a need not to. He kind of tries to um, smoke bomb me, doesn't get it. Hunter gets cocoon, and the healer is dying. So, yeah, I mean, healer's almost dead, so he's going to have to heal himself. Now he's got to peel all the way over here. And this is when I go for a clone. I get nature lock perfectly fine. I still have my self heals. My two DPS are topped off, and the monk goes down. So it was a very good game. If the Rogue and uh, Survival Hunter went the same target, it probably would have been a lot hotter or harder, hotter, harder. <laughs> but uh, let's see, damage wise, I did 724k, healing wise, I did 4.4 million, and my DPS tore it up. These are almost 1700 CR games, so this must have been later in the day. Hopefully, you enjoyed these clips. If you did, please subscribe and thank you for watching. Take care.